Well, hello there. So I've been seeing a lot of videos on Instagram recently. You know, the typical, here's a day in my life for get ready with me, right? And I figured, you know, that's, I could do that. I could jump on the trend. But I feel like that'd be kind of boring for everybody just to see Uriel get me out of bed. Like, there's not much to it. Um, and I thought, you know, what I could do that might be interesting to some people is show you all how I go about going to UCLA and getting my Spinraza injections that treat my SMA. So, step one of getting all that done is calling the Medi-Cal funded transportation center that drives me to and from my appointments. So I'll start off by showing you a little what that looks like. We're sorry, all of our representatives are still assisting other customers. Please remain on the line as we value your call. Next up on the docket, is to ask my caretaker to take a video of me as I am getting into the van. Did you actually record all that? I don't know. <laughs> now here's the actual clip of me getting into the van. Take note of the driving technique and of course the finesse. After some quick tie downs and a few buckles, soon enough we're on the road and enjoying the coastal view. Oh shit. Isn't it beautiful? We got oil rigs. But unfortunately, relying on governmental transportation is not always sunshine and rainbows. I've had my fair share of rough rides, and a lot of the vans at this company that I use just have no shocks. Which means that every bump and crevice that the car drives over causes my entire chair to shake, as well as me in it. This trip was exceptionally bad, and I've never had such a stressful drive in my entire life. I've never been on it, but I imagine that this is what it's like to ride on Star Tours at Disneyland, because my head was just bouncing all over the place, in true fashion like a ragdoll. After an hour and a half of what felt like a drive through hell, we stopped at a gas station to get some gas and my caretaker took in the sights. We got Cinnabon, cheese, sausage, egg, and Cinnabon. Look at that dude, for a dollar. That's like a, a split hot dog. That's crazy. Ooh. About an hour later, we had checked into the surgery center and we were quickly escorted to the operating room where the lift team met us and transferred me to the surgical table. This is when the doctor arrived, signifying that it was time to get stabbed in the back. This specific injection hurt quite a bit more than I remember the previous ones hurting, but the process itself went relatively smooth, and it only took about 10 minutes. All the doctor has to do is find the port that I had surgically implanted at the base of my spinal cord and connect the needle into it without piercing my actual spinal cord. Easy peasy. Perhaps what's more important is that I somehow survived yet again another excruciating trip back home. 
quite possibly, albeit with a minor concussion. Um, if you've ever experienced something like this, let me know in the comments. I think it goes without saying that no one should have to feel scared um, when arranging their transportation for a medical appointment. And the unfortunate truth is I am now. And that's why I made this video. So I could raise awareness for this issue. You know, I figure if I'm having this problem, some other people probably are too. And the fact of the matter is that the disabled community deserves better. 